My name is Womi Omololo, sex coach, sex therapist, sex educator, a medical doctor. Welcome to the Sex Lab where we're going to be talking about everything that has to do with sex, the good, the bad and the ugly. This show is for 18 years and above. Thank you. Okay. I've actually been getting so many emails about sex, you know, the good, the bad. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? Is this right? You know, everything that has to do with sex, sexual health issues, you know, how to spice up my marriage, how to spice up sex life what I'm supposed to do. Talking about oral sex also goes a long way also. So I'm just here to get on talking about different things entirely. So I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comment below. Leave your suggestion below. Thank you. Today I'm going to be talking about orgasm. It's a question I've been getting from both female and male. It's just all about orgasm. Orgasm, orgasm. I like to give my wife multiple orgasm. I like to make her shake. I like to make her do this. The women are also coming, you know, I've never had orgasm before. How can I have orgasm? What am I doing wrong? What am I supposed to do right? You know, what's an orgasm? How does it feel like? You know, just so many questions about orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. Today I have here with me my friend, she's a colleague of mine, and she's my friend also, Consola Paula, she's a medical doctor. Welcome. Thank you. So, you know, as I told you earlier, everything that has to do with an orgasm, you know, people don't understand that orgasm has to do with the brain. Like, it's not like something that happens in your genitals. It happens in your brain. It's, it's a spike that happens, it's something, some kind of Think something that happens in your brain when some specific, some particular parts of your body are being stimulated. And let's say, for mm -hmm. instance, your clitoris, your your G spot, the G spot, the clitoris. You know, different parts of the body. When those parts are being stimulated, that's when you get an orgasm. And the orgasm happens in the brain. So when a lot of guys ask me, "Oh, I want to give my wife an orgasm," what they don't understand is that the biggest sex part of a woman's body is her brain. First, we have the clitoral orgasm. Hmm. As we all know where the clitoris is, it's a very, very... We all place. know, really. Yeah, everyone should know where the clitoris is. Maybe you should tell us where it is. Ah. Actually, the clitoris is like a small penis in a woman's body. <laughs> really? Yeah. Everyone should, I, I get everyone should know about where the clitoris is. If the man doesn't know, then the woman should show the man where the okay, clitoris is. Okay, maybe you can describe, like, for me, what, what are you looking for? Okay, the clitoris, actually, there is like a hood covering the clitoris, that, that's the clitoral hood. Okay. So, for you to get where the clitoris is, you have to kind of push down or push up the hood, push up the hood. Right. See the, it's like a, a little thing protruding out of the, the upper part of the, you know, the genitals. I'm not going to say the vagina. So, between the... Vagina the, is the canal. It's between the, the lips. Exactly. Between the right. lips as well. Between the outer lips, that's where the clitoris is. So cool. Actually, the, the clitoris is a very, very, you know, sensitive part of a female genitals. It has lots and lots of nerve and it makes it so pleasurable, so nice. And, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, when <laughs> the man stimulates the clitoris in a, in a proper way, you sure she will get an orgasm. But another thing, I don't want you focusing your mind on Oh, I have to give her multiple orgasm. Have to give her an orgasm. She has to have an orgasm. Because when you focus on that, you she, she will never have that orgasm. You will not be able to give her that orgasm. So what you need to do actually is relax, forget about it. Just have fun and explore. I usually advise women on their own to like kind of masturbate for them to be able to know their body and understand the way their body moves. Because for me, it might be your clitoris. For another person, especially people that have been circumcised already. You know, mm. So what happens to them? Don't they have other spots that you know they can get an orgasm from? So I I always want every woman to know her body. That's what I always advise. You know your body. When you know your body, you'll be able to tell your spouse. You'll be able to explain your body or you know the parts that you just get ticklish about. You'll be able to explain to your spouse. But if you don't know, how will he know? You know, every woman every woman is different. So I always just 
okay know your body try as much as possible to have a little time for yourself alone or it might even be in front of your spouse it might be in front of your husband yes really yes but do you think that a lot of women are probably very self-conscious and talking about masturbating for a woman sounds a bit weird yeah it sounds a bit weird but it's just something that has to be done if you want to enjoy yourself if you want to feel the pleasure of having sex sex is not just about going in and out and that's it you know you want there's more to it than just trusting a man trusting trusting ejaculating and that's it no there's more to that So the clitoral orgasm, apparently how to actually stimulate that clitoris is very simple and very easy for most men. Not just, just don't put your hand in there and start doing up and down, no. Make sure your hand, you have enough lubricant in your hand, enough lubricant. And also on the clitoris, you have enough lubes. I'm going to call lubricant lubes so that it's just going to be short. You know, you have enough lube on the clitoris and on the hand. So when you rub, you go down up down sideways left ways you can also apply use your tongue also the tongue is very nice you, know, you have a lot of speed saliva so you can apply it also and you know use to mm -hmm. stimulate the clitoris as you are doing that make sure you are watching her body like make sure you are really really looking at her body to be sure that okay she's actually enjoying herself she likes it because her body language really she likes it or not do you understand yeah and women are always just say please in as much as possible Try and send a signal to him to for him to know that what he's doing is right or what he's doing is wrong. Just don't leave him hanging and just keep going up and down and then he's get confused. Like, oh, what's going on? Is, does she enjoy? Is she enjoying herself? Does she like it? You know, just try and show some, put some signal tips and let him know that you're enjoying yourself. Second one is actually the vaginal orgasm. The vaginal orgasm. I call it vaginal because I know here we are going to talk about the G spot, the H spot, and the P spot. I call it gap. It's just the there's so many gap. spots. <laughs> it's just something I just came up with, and, and I feel you know it's it's actually interesting because it's it's a there are spots that you eat, but you're not just sure if you are doing it right or how to get to those spots. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. A lot of people usually ask me, ah, where's the G spot located? Blah blah blah, and all that. They all want to know because they believe G there's a particular just, place. Yeah, G spot is just man, that's just the height of you. Once you are able to locate the G spot, then mm, yeah, certain exactly. Actually, the G spot, I'm going to say, is like once you get your hand, make sure at the same time, make sure you have enough lubricant on your hand, also mm -hmm. that's like compulsory. So that you just don't feel as if you are rubbing it against friction, all that exactly friction. friction on some people or something. Just <laughs> so make sure you, you have enough lube on your hand, on your palm, on your fingers, and also the vagina is also covered with lube. If not the natural lube, the artificial lube you mm -hmm. also do. And water based lube can to be preferably. No Vaseline, no rub, please. Rub? Yeah. Well, okay. I was actually on a TV show some time back and a man called in and said you know, his wife usually sends him to buy rub and then she rubs, she puts rub in her vagina. I was like, it was like, so he doesn't understand what's the rub for. And I had to explain to him that that rub is supposed to be like a lubricant for her. Because when she applies it, she'll have some kind of tinglish sensation. Right, okay. Because you know, there are some lubricants that actually have that tingling sensation. sensation. Yeah, exactly. So what, what she's using it for, but no okay. rubs, no Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So you put your when you once you introduce your hand into the vagina, mm -hmm. make sure your palm is facing up, it's facing that means it's facing her belly. Okay. So you do like a hook kind of shape. It goes mm -hmm. like this. Just that the one third once you enter, just the one third of inside the vagina, you feel a very very soft but rough surface there. Like it feels like the hard palate. Okay, like the top of your yeah, mouth. The, yeah, the, exactly. But it's soft. It's very very soft. But it's rough. So once you feel it, it's like that's why I said it's like a hook. So your finger is going to be made in shape of a hook shape, mm -hmm. like com like come. They can kind of come back exactly. out. Exactly. So you put it in, and then you stimulate up, down, left, right. Mm. Up, down, so the same motion. Exactly. 
and then you try as much as possible to be looking at our body you know our body language mm. is going to send you a message also do you understand and you you don't have to only use your hand you can also use your penis also to actually do that this is the this is my my dummy my dildo you know, my dummy for demonstration actually so as i was saying imagine if this my ring my my finger like this is vagina so you are using you want to try and use your penis to get to the g-spot once you go in this way you go in like this to the one third of inside of the vagina you try as much as possible to angle up try to angle up once you angle up you're in already you angle up you go in slowly you come out slowly you go in slowly you don't come out fully and you don't go in fully oh, do you yeah. understand it's like you're 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 just in there playing with yourself and playing with her also so she gets that stimulation so you know as i've said the angle is like up mm -hmm. you're yeah, like this you're not like regular like regular like this. yeah yeah you've angled up this way so the head of the penis can actually keep touching the, the g spot exactly looks like a very weird angle though it is but at, as what you're doing is do you know what the balls are actually covering the lower part of the vagina to the perineum side that's the 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 the, the space between the anus and the vagina the okay. perineum. and then that actually that feels good for the woman because she feels you know like full full in there yeah okay so you angle it up like that you go like up and down and make sure the the penis has lots and lots of lubricant also. Mm. It's very good. She also. So that's for the G spot. I, I told you, you can use your finger and then you can mm -hmm. use your penis. The A spot, it's you get it when you actually do like a face face to face, like a frontal position. Okay. Uh, let's assume the missionary position. Right. So you go in like you go in normal angle mm -hmm. you go in so you are not fully in if you notice that you know this part of the right it's not, it's not fully in not fully in so you go in and you take it slowly in slowly up you know out slowly in slowly you're not coming out Fully. Fully. So it's and similar. Going, exactly. And you're not but going it's a little bit further. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going also further. You're just you know in between you know, the motion. That's for the A spot. Then the, the P spot. It has to be like from the rear, like you know, doggy style. Mm -hmm. So the P spot is actually deep on deep penetration you okay that. so you go in all the way all in. the way in mm, there are some positions you can get it through frontal but better still is, you know doggy style is better so you go deep all the way in and then you stay also you're not coming out fully you're not you know you're not going in you know you're in fully but you're, but not, you're not coming out, out fully. exactly so you, you begin to you know like go Make sure you are fully in, you go like this, you are in this kind of motion, mm. you are going, you are coming, you are going, you are coming, but it's deep, do you understand? That's the P, the P spot. So every woman has three spots? You have more than three spots, you know, I mean, okay. I'm just the one that just gave me that, right, you know, like okay. inside the vagina, you know, the, all this gap, that I said gap, A, the G, the A, a and the P, P, is all in the vagina, vagina. right, so that, that's it. Simultaneous orgasm. Me, As I said me. earlier on, you cannot orgasm anywhere. The woman cannot orgasm anywhere. Just, you, you know, it just depends on where you are touching, how you are touching it. You know, the back of our ears can be very, very, you know, mm. sensitive. The back of our, the back of our knee mm -hmm. here, different parts of our body can be sensitive. Even the nipple, there's nipple orgasm also. You know, they're different. Really? Yeah, actually, they're actually different kind of orgasm a woman can, you know. She can get an orgasm from any part of her body you stimulate. 
Do you understand? As I said earlier, orgasm has to do with the brain. The brain yeah. Once you stimulate that part very well, then an orgasm can actually mm. happen. Do you understand? So the one, the third one I said is, you know, simultaneous. simultaneous. Simultaneous means that you know you are in. You've been in. You are inside. That's the vaginal. You are inside the vagina, and then your hand, enough lube, can go. On but the clitoris. So you're doing both. So you are doing both. Watch her, just watch her. Sounds like a lot of work for the and guy. Very, very careful because she might, you know, she might squint. You know, this female ejaculation. So just be sure that there's a towel around or something because you never can, you never can know what can happen to her. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for actually the orgasm. So next week, guys, we're going to be talking about the oral sex, you know, everything that has to do with the Ladies, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel, leave your comments below, your suggestions and your questions. I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you and see you next time.